This is 33-year-old Dan Silly, a man with a twisted view of the world. He lived by a hodgepodge of fringe theories, which he preached to his followers as a self-proclaimed motivational speaker. He believed in trendy fads like mindfulness and alternative nutrition, and convinced himself that he could control his destiny by controlling his thoughts and disciplining his body. Silly started a blog dedicated to The Secret and The Law of Attraction. He declared that if one focused on their desires, their subconscious would search for it, and they would move forward. He fashioned his public persona like his Svengali idols, Joel Furman, Jack LaLanne, Rhonda Byrne, David Wygant, and other nickel philosophers that contributed to his mindset. Silly saw an opportunity to build a following and monetize ideas he had mostly stolen from others. He created a surplus of motivational content for his YouTube channel and website, dansilly.com. His slogan, live the best life possible, drew a large audience. However, in an effort to manifest his desires, his true nature came to light when he posted a video titled, Who Would Turn Down a 16-Year-Old? If they were mature enough, right? Why would I turn down a 16-year-old if she was... Well, in California, it's illegal to have sex with them. But, uh, no. I'm trying to talk to underage girls, right? To get... I mean, I, this is ideally, right? Talk to them, and, and they like me talking to them and they want to hang out with me and but i have enough discipline obviously not to have sex with them or do anything sexual because they're underage in california because it's 18 right or you could move to vegas i mean you, know, you want 16 years old you want underage don't bang. if they wanted me you know i mean no i would go to vegas i, I would go to nevada you know because it's 16 the age of consent is 16 in nevada not 18 in california you know If they liked me, and they were were wanted to communicate with me like I would communicate with them, you know, and they wanted to have a baby with me, why wouldn't I have a baby with them? If they wanted to, you know, if they wanted to have babies with me as many as possible, and all this philosophy that, I, you know, they could listen to everything I say, right? Why would you reject, you know? This was his disturbing desire live on the internet. He yearned oh so publicly for these things, was lustfully determined, and worst of all, he recorded it all, even the most graphic statements. Because there are some 16-year-olds that look so good, but there are probably some 16-year-olds that aren't even developed, that are prepubescent, right? That's not exciting to me. What's exciting to me is just what I saw on the street. I saw on the street a, a woman with yoga pants so juicy, her her whole legs Stop and it, butt get out. were so juicy and so good, and it looked so it was so yeah, good yeah. and it triggered me and it made me feel like have to approach her but I didn't, and so now I'm not happy, you know. The woman's voice in the background is Kim, a resident of local low income housing. She became both a godsend and a source of antagonism in his life and their complex relationship gave him access to shelter, running water, and food purchased with Kim's disability check. His burning desire for influence and wealth had a dark root, an insatiable need for meaningful sexual relationships with women. In the same video, Silly admitted that, quote, I came to Los Angeles because I wanted to be around the best looking women in the world. His vision of living the best life possible included a communal lifestyle based on organic agriculture and polygyny. He condemned the so-called standard American diet and declared wheat, dairy, refined sugar, salt, oil, caffeine, MSG, other additives, meat, and chocolate as agents of hyperstimulation. He also aspired to create a harem of loving partners with whom he could father children so they could experience the orgasmic possibilities of delivery. While he struggled to find gainful employment, he found solace in creating online content. He excelled in his YouTube videos and blog posts, even if they were for all the wrong reasons. Dan Silly now entered downtown Los Angeles, where he became infamous for videotaping passing women and making distasteful comments to them. And all these females showed up, that's interesting, huh? He populated his YouTube account, personal blog, and website with bizarre philosophical musings, 
and videos of him accosting women. Why exactly are you being like tired of being sexualized? Like, isn't it good to like be valued for for something? Like, even if it's sexual, like, I mean, why is it like bad to be sexualized? Like, sex is good, right? But despite being ignored, any sort of contact, even a simple look, led him on to keep talking. And on the streets of LA, he spared no one, not even minors. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Um, is, is he your boyfriend? No. Your brother? No. Oh, hi. do you have a boyfriend? No. He is a minor. Oh, how old is she? 14. 14? Okay. This is exactly what made him a predator on the streets. And it's not just the filming, it's the disturbing approach. Hi, girl. Girl. Hi. I like you. I like you. What are you doing? I like you. I, I just saw you running. I, I like, I like you. Who is laughing? Who is laughing and why are you laughing? Why were you laughing though? She's funny, dude. You were straight chasing her. Yeah, so? She's a little funny. I think it's, it's like, funny, but it's it's what you should do to get to actually like try to to get women, you know? I guess right? it makes them feel wanted, yeah. <laughs> if they like you, if they like how you look and like they like your voice and like everything, right? <laughs> You're recording. And they're single, right? It's <laughs> crazy, dude. A girl back there, just like a minute ago, she was uh, it? called the police. Just, but I was perfectly like, I was pointing the camera at my face, and I was like, I'm just recording my face. Okay, bye. And then, but I didn't do anything <laughs> bad, and then. She called the police. So then I got angry and then that fueled me like to, to run after this girl, you know? Because it's like, you know, anger, but channeling it in a positive way, you know? Many people were concerned about his behavior, but it was not against the law as long as he was recording on public property and not touching the women. He claimed that he was not a predator, but just trying to figure out a way to talk to women because they didn't respond to him. However, in these disturbing videos, one of them became his reckoning. In January of 2016, Silly approached a young girl on the sidewalk. He stumbled over his words as he attempted to use pickup lines to start a conversation. Little did Silly know, the girl he had just filmed was only 15 years old. Later, he posted comments on the video expressing his sexual interest in her. Even her parents saw the comments and forwarded them to the FBI. Then came his conviction and court hearing. Silly could have avoided it all if he had just removed the video and comments, but instead, he saw the trial as an opportunity to stand up for his immoral and philosophical beliefs. He even rejected a plea bargain that would have saved him from being labeled a sex offender. In his defense, Silly argued that it was natural for men to be attracted to underage girls who appeared physically developed. He blamed the standard American diet for causing girls to develop too quickly, even though they were chronologically underage. As you can tell, the jury was not convinced at all. They saw through his twisted logic and found him guilty. Silly was sentenced to 100 days in jail and 36 months on probation. As the bailiff led him away, the jury foreman, a clinical psychologist, declared that Silly needed to register as a sex offender. One juror even suggested that the girls should be taught not to be so nice. Silly was left to contemplate the consequences of his actions and the darkness of his own twisted beliefs. In 2017, he was now Dan Patrick Silly, a convicted sex offender who wanted a fresh start. He moved to Ronard Park, California, but despite his intentions of proving that he was a good person, people saw him as a bad one. He complained about being thrown out of a food festival and received a hostile reaction from a woman he approached. Meanwhile, Silly believed that the laws were too strict and wanted to fulfill his desires. He even planned to start a polygamous colony and have children with as many women as possible. Residents in the apartment complex where Silly was staying became anxious after the police posted flyers with his photo and background. Now, instead of being concerned about this, he felt prideful, and even gave out a disturbing laugh as he recorded himself next to the flyer. All right. <laughs> Silly's presence in a complex full of families with children and teens made people feel more troubled and scared. According to one of his neighbors, quote, I looked at everything. I looked at Facebook, 
everything just to know what this man is capable of, and it was really creepy and disturbing. Not what a normal person would say. All the videos you saw were uploaded on his YouTube channel, but after the case, his account was banned. But some people have speculated that he's found a second place to lurk, a social media platform where the majority of the users are under 30, TikTok. Despite the court case and the YouTube channel ban, his ideology is still the same, and he now pollutes TikTok with his horrific rants. Okay, everyone needs to get married and to a virgin girl who's underage and produce as many babies as naturally are produced as a result of having sex. No filters, no blur words. He straight up told his quote unquote followers to marry underage girls and have as many babies as possible. He advocated this same idea on his YouTube channel in two of his videos titled, Every Man Should Ideally Marry a 14 Year Old Girl and How to Marry a 14 Year Old Girl. And if you think he's stopping at just making videos about this idea, he talked about starting an entire cult for followers who follow his vision. Because we're building a healthy and happy community. This is the start of us building a healthy and happy community. On his LinkedIn, he wrote that he needed help building a, quote, Disneyland-like, polygynist, maximally reproductive, residential gated community of at least one square mile in area that is conducive to living the healthiest lifestyle possible. We already talked about what he calls a healthy life in terms of diet, but this second part gets too gruesome. He writes that, quote, the community will emphasize teen marriage. And he believes that the location should be, quote, within Nevada, because the age of consent is 16 there. He ends this weird post by saying that this community is, quote, all about living the healthiest, fittest, maximally sexually prolific lifestyle possible. He did try to restart his YouTube account from a different persona, but it wasn't long after that that YouTube found it and banned it. He made a video about stalking a 12-year-old girl and saying that when she turns 14, he will ask her to marry him. He even talked about convincing her parents for her hand in marriage, which again is sickening. And just before his second account could be taken off YouTube, there was a video titled, Let's Get TikTok Famous and Attract Underage Virgin Girls. Take a look. Make this video because I want to make videos on TikTok. I want to make, obviously, it's successful and I want them to be, go viral and famous. So that I personally, because from my own desire, obviously the reason why I want to become famous is for a reason. I mean, not just to make money, but to become seen in the eyes of girls, of underage girls, virgin underage girls who watch TikTok, because a lot of teenagers watch, are on TikTok it's as compared to Facebook or YouTube. As you can see, he describes his intentions crystal clear that he doesn't want to make money off of TikTok. He just wants to find underage girls, which again, TikTok is full of. We want to appeal to that demographic and we want to become famous so that there's, an, for me at least, there's an underage virgin girl who I can marry. All I care about is getting the attention of underage girls who are healthy. As of the end of 2022, we noticed that his account has no videos uploaded. We're hopeful that TikTok got him to remove his videos. We only hope that they can ban his social media persona for good. Also, you can see his username with the abbreviation LTBLP, which simply means living the best life possible. Let's just hope his pedophilic advocacy comes to an end. The chances of his reoffending seem slim, provided he's under the constant eye of the law. Plus, with the social outcry that's gone on against him, people have started to recognize him everywhere he goes. Even before the court case, he was labeled the downtown LA predator by a bunch of women. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh. Fucking creep, get the fuck out of here. Well, a lot of good looking people in one photo. Hey, 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 hey. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. This is public property. 
that doesn't give you the right to skirt photography. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I can record whoever I want to.